Yeah, folks, uh, the parade is getting very close now. You know, this parade was started by the Stockman's Association and went on and, until 37 years ago when the Little More Rotary Club said, well, we'll take it on. So now this parade has been going on ever since the rodeo started in 1918 as a benefit for the Red Cross. And I'm very happy to see that we're going to soon have our parade right in front of us. Hey, John, hold it down. We were trying to have a parade. <laughs> yes, we are. Yep. So we're giving you a 15. So far, you're not doing well. <laughs> hey, we got all the food. Hey, he's not up. throwing right. anything. Yeah. And there's toilet paper in all the outhouses. Okay. <laughs> One year I went by there and some of the dogs were going to work it. Oh, yeah. my God. Thanks, yeah. Sam. Yeah, yeah. so it's only way to kind of slow yeah, so the first thing I do is check all this thing first thing in the morning. Hey, listen, it all comes out of the end. Well, should I think it's pretty much. I think they put them out in the I think it's already right. Yep. All right, but your whistles, here they come. Yeah, here they come, that's right. The department is proud of their Car 54, the 1954 Chevrolet panel wagon used for traffic education in the community. Car 54 was donated to the Livermore Police Department years ago by the Altamont Cruisers and has been a part of many community activities, including the annual parade. The Livermore Police Department would like to remind you to buckle up when driving and don't use your cell phone when driving. Stay safe for this weekend's Livermore Rodeo. Okay, folks, please stand and remove your hats in recognition of our national colors. They are covered, they are carried by the, the color guard of the Livermore Valley BFW code 7265. Veterans of War and War in the United States of America. The color guard is led by Quartermaster Bob Machine, members of Keith Anderson, Herb Friedendahl, Tommy Friedendahl, John Clark. These last four all proudly admit that they're over 80 years of age. Hi, John. He's my neighbor. Welcome our very own Alameda County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. They are an all-volunteer organization established in 1941 and led this year by Captain Linda Post. Under the direction of Alameda County Sheriff Gregory J. Ahern, this group is assigned to the Office of Emergency Services and helps in both law enforcement and in community events. Their animals are specially trained for these functions. If you're interested in joining this group, please feel free to talk with any of their members after the parade. Folks, the next uh, entry is a, uh, an official uh, representative of the Lumo Stockman Rodeo. There's Stockman Rodeo Center Association President John Gerwitz and the Lumo Rodeo Foundation President Kathleen Minister. And both are longtime Lumo residents and have been part of the rodeo for 15 years. They are riding a 1930 rat rod driven by rodeo director Don Perry. John and Catherine are proud to the unique partnership that has been created between the Stockman and, and their foundation. They lead us in thanking all the directors and volunteers for their hard work to keep the spirit and tradition of the Livermore Rodeo alive. Yeah, thank you thank very you much. All. Two historic Liverpool Rodeo stage coaches. Riding on top is 
Rochelle Smetacor, Executive Director of Livermore Downtown Incorporated. And inside the stage, we have Radio Director Christy Lepas, Rodeo Queen Coordinator Kim Connors, Livermore Downtown Incorporated President Crystal Burke, Vice President Cheryl Nick, Secretary Liz Roberts, Treasurer Karen Long, Cast President Ivy Foe, Board Member Darren Eddy, and Board Member Robert Armstrong. Okay, the second stagecoach is from the Livermore Rodeo carrying the parents of the legendary bull rider, Lane Frost. Lane's bull riding career was chronicled in the 1994 movie, Eight Seconds. Riding along with Clyde and, uh, and Elsie Frost are Lynn and Don Tobin. Lynn's grandfather founded the Livermore Sanitarium in 1887 and it was closed in 1865, and Don ran it for a number of years. And uh, much of the family land was sold to Livermore with the condition that the area would be for a rodeo and equestrian use, with the park named after the family. The people of Livermore are very fortunate to have Robinson Park to enjoy today. You know, that sanitarium was an amazing thing. It was the largest mental sanitarium west of the Mississippi, Many famous people, uh, movie stars and Maharajas and all kinds of people were there. And it was very, very uh, advanced kind of treatment. Please welcome our 2014 Becoming a large animal veterinarian, 17 years old. You know, this, this uh, nice wag, uh, sorry, we just went by us, is the Livermore Jody Rodeo Queen, Michael, uh, Michelle Hewitt. Michelle resides with her family on a ranch in Mountain House. <laughs> she is 17 years old and a junior in high school. She looks forward to becoming a large animal veterinarian and a therapeutic riding instructor. In her free time, Michelle enjoys volunteer for Reigns in Motion, which is a writing center for disabled children. She also spends many evenings training her employees to animals, so big. And she was, I thought, riding her horse and animals. So please welcome our 1923 Dome Chain Driven Truck. The truck was built in San Francisco and used to haul freight from the docks until 1962. It is only one of 12 known to still exist. Don fully restored the truck. Oh, that's a quite a job, too. Uh, and it will be on display at the rodeo grounds this weekend. Riding in the truck is a Podesta family and Livermore Downtown Events Coordinator Tro Matthews, along with Marketing Director Karen Johnson. And now we have the Riata Ranch Cowboy Girls. Created in 1957, Riata Ranch International is under the direction of Jennifer Welch. Riata Ranch is dedicated to enriching young women through horsemanship and performance by building positive life skills in a safe environment. It's a unique concept that teaches valuable life lessons of hard work, discipline, pride, and respect. Was it there on movie, a TV movie titled Cowboy Girls? Not long ago, I remember seeing that. You can see the Rihanna Ranch Cowboy Girls perform their trick riding and roping today and tomorrow at the Livermore Rodeo. The grand entry starts at 3 o'clock at the Robertson Park Rodeo Ground. That is not easy to do. Next on the horseback. We proudly present the 2014 Rodeo Parade Grand Marshal 
Felix Herder is sick. Uh, 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 Tina is a Livermore native and has lived in with her husband Paul and son Amador uh, Armando on their ranch outside Livermore. She's also a community relations manager. She's good on that. Thank you. She's a more She's very involved in our community and actively participating in our Rotary Club. The Livermore Stockings Rodeo Association, Livermore Rodeo Junior Rodeo, and several more. We thank Sheila and her family for their support of our community and congratulate Sheila on being chosen as the Grand Marshal of our parade. We're very proud of you, Sheila. Thank you for all your service. You know, she's been in our, our Rotary Club for several years. It's the first time I've seen her on a horse. She really does ride. <laughs> Next we have the Junction Avenue School Color Guard. This year the team competed in four Winter Color Guard shows. They took a first place, a second place, a third place, and a fourth place. They've also performed at Junction Avenue rallies and open house and today they will be performing to the dance of the witches by john williams <laughs> oh my goodness they start them young don't they that's the name is take your own the Livermore Area Recreation and Park District. The first car is driven by General Manager Tim Berry and the second by Board President Dave Hutchinson. In the cars you see Barbara and board members, Bob Comer and Beth Wilson, Mariana Spaldings, and Steve Goodman. LARPD operates the Robert Livermore Community Center. Hi, the ESS School Age Child Care, Sycamore Grove Park, and all the neighborhood parks, the swimming pools, the sports fields, local trails, and Robinson Park Rodeo Grounds. You can get a brochure listing all their fun activities at the Community Center on East Avenue or check out with the LARPD. LARPD does a wonderful job, and they do so much for our community, so thank you so much for everything you do do. Board President Dave Hutchinson. Thanks to, thanks to Dublin Chevrolet for, for providing the cars and trucks for our parade today. <laughs> Coming up, we have Scott Hagerty, Vice President of the Alameda County Board of Supervisors, riding on Alameda County Fire Truck. <laughs> Scott is currently in his fifth term. He represents District 1, which includes Livermore. Supervisor Hagerty continues to play an important role in story, the agriculture community, and land use planning issues. Hi, Scott. Along with his family and staff, they deeply appreciate your continued support and they wish you all a fun and safe weekend at this year's rodeo. Is all that your family, Scott? You can see why he gets elected every time. He's got a big family. You know, he's, he's absolutely one of the best supervisors you can imagine. He's done that job so well for a number of years. In his fifth term now, he's a great, great at that. Okay, now we have the Ipsy Bitsy Ranch of Sonora proudly presenting... Oh, no. No, no, no. no. This is from Dixon, correct? Is this 17? Oh, no. 16, I'm sorry. From Dixon, California, the father and daughter team 
of Mike and Kelly Patton. They're riding their beautiful Belgian horse. Oh, look at their feet. Belgian horses, Paladin and Cerebella. They're participating in the match pair class for CSHA championship competition. These gentle giants are beautiful to watch and can certainly do more than pull away and pick and pick the nail painted. And next is the Monterey County Sheriff's Posse. It's a silver, a sterling silver mounted group and is participating today as part of the California State Horsemen's Association Parade Championship Competition. This posse was organized in 1948 and in 2012 was selected to participate in the Tournament of Roses, parade honoring Roy Rogers. The Merced County Sheriff's Posse has won many, oh, I wish I could watch them, I have to read this, kind of good looking out there. They've won many first place awards in three states, including this year's Almond Boston Parade in Ripon. The officers are Captain Mike Mendes, First Lieutenant Paul Dargon, Second Lieutenant Loretta Rock, and Trail Master Adam Azevedo. Yeah, thank you for being with us. It's a great looking posse. I know this next guy, this 1964 Ford Galaxy 500, owned and restored by Rotarian Ed Post, with a custom paint job in the original Pagoda Green by Rotarian Dale Romero of Pi Valley Auto Body. And this year, he's carrying Livermore's Rotary President, Philip Dean. Phil is a veteran of the Air Force and a retired biophysicist. He worked for over 32 years at the D.C. and the Los Alamos National Lab in New Mexico and the Lawrence Livermore Na La National Lab here in Livermore. He joined Rotary in 1993 and has held several leadership positions in our club and in Rotary District 5170. And he's a very good president. Yeah, you know, Phil's been a great president. We've had a lot of great presidents in Rotary. You know, it's been in existence since 1947. And it has, you know, community service missions and national service missions and international service missions. It's a very fine organization. If anybody's interested in more and learning more or even joining Rotary, you can look me up. John Sherry, we'd love to have you. Now, coming is the... Uh, Entrance by Eric Sawell, our um, congressman in Sacramento. He proudly serves the residents of Dublin, San Ramon, and Pleasanton, Livermore, Castro Valley, Union City, Hayward, and Fremont. He is committed to bringing new energy and new ideas to Washington. I'm sorry, Eric goes to Washington, huh? But he's been doing a heck of a good job. Eric, which one are you? Raise your hand. Oh, well, he's coming way back there. Boy, he's got no wonder he wins. He's got all these people behind him. Yeah, now this is, he's running for his second term. He, he, he did. He did. There's Eric. All right, Eric. Next we have Friends of the Bank, Ted and Bothwell. They're a nonprofit corporation created to raise funds to save the Bank Head Theater and the Bothwell Art Center. These facilities provide arts, entertainment, and educational opportunities for the entire area throughout the year. And they're in danger of being closed down. Although it's getting a little better since last Monday. Valley Opera, 
Okay, now please welcome Steve Elvers and Free Max Accord. You're a local Livermore real estate expert. Steve is Yelp's number one most positively reviewed agent in Livermore. When Actually, it comes to Livermore real estate, you can always count on Steve. Steve, where are you? Actually, Steve went through quite oh, a while ago. Okay. He was out of position. So next we have from Turlock, Haley Lopez riding Twinkie. Haley is nine years old and competing in the future horsing class. She's been riding Twinkie since she was just two years old. The dynamic duo competes in the CSHA Great program and has won numerous awards and titles. And they're accompanied by Haley's mother, Rosa Lopez, riding Dusty. You can tell that Haley and her mom love to ride together. Huge. Okay, now please welcome Party Arroyo from Livingston, California, riding Favorito. His beautiful Andalusian. Favorito has been trained by Claudia to the Spanish School of Riding. Claudia has been one of the finest representatives of Charo tradition. Yeah, that's a beautiful tradition there, wonderful horseman. Outfitted in a fake Mexican attire. He has performed in parades for the last 42 years and has won 642 trophies and 188 sweepstakes. He's the reigning California State Horseman Association champion in the Charo 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 costume class. Hey, thank you for being with us. My Beautiful. darling, that's great. Beautiful. Also participating in the California State Horsemen's Association Championship competition today is their royalty group. Each of these young men and women has participated in a four-phase competition to earn their title. And right in today, we have Miss CSHA 2014, Mackenzie Middleton, CSHA State Ambassador for 2014, Philip McCabe, Little Miss CSHA for 2014, Serena Benza, Miss CSHA for Region 5 for 2014, Kate Sorrell, Little Miss CSHA Region 5 for 2014, Jenny Heron, Miss CSHA Region 4 for 2014, Haley Marguerite, Junior Miss CSHA Good job, guys. Region 4 is Morgan Milton. And for 2013 is Katie Cook, State Ambassador, is Samuel Cunningham, and for Miss Junior CSHA 2014 is Barry Newman. Yeah, thank the Boy Scouts for keeping the place cleaned up. Yes. chosen for our 2014 Community Service Award. They're the winners, and they're good ones. Patty Eisen has been serving the Tri Valley for many years and is involved in many organizations. <laughs> for several years, she's been part of the Livermore Rodeo Production Team, putting on the world's fastest rodeo. She was recently appointed 
by the mayor as our community representative to the U.S. military for her work with military families and returning veterans. Chris Ising was born in Livermore. He's a cattle rancher and a farmer and the owner of the Ising's Culligan Water Service. His community service record is about as long as Patty's and is inclu includes being past president of the Rotary Club and a former rodeo parade director. Chris and Patty, Ising, we thank you for your community service. You're each deserving of this honor and together you're unbeatable. Thanks to Dick and Donna Jones for providing their 1967 GTO convertible. The Joneses have been married 46 years and bought the car 45 years ago. Donna's pretty sure that the car will outlast it. Now here is Livermore American Wisdom Post number 47, Applebee Reserve. American Wisdom is a veteran's organization started by Congress in 1919. They to foster youth programs in the community, advocating honor and patriotism, promoting strong national security, and continuing to vote for our fellow service members and veterans. All right. Post 47 is the oldest in California. And the Fleet Reserve Association is also a congressionally chartered veterans organization that represents the interests of the sea service community before the U.S. Congress. Maybe the first Friday of each month at the Veterans Memorial Day. Uh, okay, next comes at the Air Force, Army, Marines, and Navy, all represented by the recruiting stations located here in Livermore. The officers are located on the officers are located on Marietta and Stanley Boulevard. Stop by and visit, watch the video, or just look at the equipment they have. These active military personnel volunteer in our community with local youth groups, baseball and football games in Livermore and Granada, the rodeo, and helping veterans and their families wherever needed. Let them know how much we support our military here in Livermore with a grand salute. Yeah, do that. Thank you.
next group is called the Pleasanton Military Families. It formed in 2003 with a mission to provide support and comfort to our troops and military families in the Tri-Valley. They partner with the BFW and the American Legion local events and fundraising and also sponsor the Yellow Streamer program on Main Street in Pleasanton. When they honor our local, where they honor our local military with yellow streamers hanging from the light post with the name Rank and Rank of Church, Tim Rodney. Well, thank you for all you do for our veterans. Now please welcome 214 Raul Ranch Miss Junior Rodeo Queen 
Missy Simpson, Bernard's sister, oh, Judy <laughs> Brooks, Cicely, who lives in Livermore. Yes, Look over this way, and say hi, nice to see you. Uh, is riding her gilding, Samson. She is 16 years old and goes to Vineyard High School. Cicely invites everyone to come to the Rao Ranch Junior Rodeo on August 2nd and 3rd, and she can't wait to see you all there. Congratulations on being the queen. Dog in the 
Three cheers for the red, white, and blue. The Cactus Corner Youth Square Dancers present a slice of our history, square dancing, the American folk dance. From the settlers crossing the plains to Fourth of July celebrations in town squares and modern day hoedowns, square dancing is an American tradition. These dancers are youths from all over the Bay Area, from age 7 to 19 years of age. Their college and instructor is Ed Goose. Hey, it's great to have you here. Which one's Ed? Oh, he's the Hey. Hi there. Oh, do another one. I want to watch him. Successful soccer club in Livermore. In just four years, West Coast Soccer has accomplished a remarkable feats. One national title, three national finalists, four state cups, three premier state cups, 50 tournament championships, and over 30 players committed to college on so soccer scholarships. That's amazing to me. Come and watch the action as these college athletes play for the West Coast Women's Premier League team this summer. For game schedules and more details about West Coast programs, soccer camps, and teams, visit their website at westcoastsoccer.com. That's quite an organization, and all these kids are great soccer players. of dedicated and committed young ladies. They not only plan on raising school spirit, but they'll be helping the Livermore community with philanthropic activities. Leading the Granada High School Cheerleaders this year will be head coach Paula Bella and assistant coach Lizzie Martinez. I'd like to 
thank some of our major sponsors, the Rotary, Rotary Club of Livermore, Livermore Area Recreation and Park District, Livermore Sanitation, Livermore Stockman's Association, and the Livermore Rodeo, the City of Livermore, and the Independent Newspaper. Okay, the Granada High School Matadors Marching Band is delighted to participate in the annual Livermore Rodeo Parade. This band has had an exciting year, winning top honors at the NCBA competition last fall, celebrating Granada High School's 50th anniversary, participating in the opening ceremonies of the Tri-Valley Special Olympics, and supporting our community at various events during the year. A big thanks to all those who made today happen, especially the many high school seniors who are performing today after the traditional, traditional revelry following their graduation ceremony last night. If you see anybody staggering, you'll know why. Well, that's a wonderful band. Another wonderful music organization. Thanks to the support of all the remote citizens, the Passos the Bond, the Passos the Right Bond. The first is a history mobile. 
both educating residents and visitors about the history of our city. Docents talk about the beginning of Livermore and, and even before it was a city up to present day. The History Mobile visits third graders and all Livermore public schools and, and appears at local events such as the Farmer's Market, Ravenswood, parades and festivals. The goal is to educate the community and install a sense of pride in our heritage. Driving the History Mobile is Ed Rominger with passenger Sandy Graff and Nancy Mulligan. Here is their 1994 Model T chemical fire truck, driven by Gary Bell. This tiny vehicle was Liverpool's first motorized fire truck. The chief of Liverpool's volunteer fire department, who was a mechanic in a garage on 2nd Street, built this on a Ford Model T train. It was restored to operating conditions by a small team of heritage skilled volunteers led by Charles McQuinn. Yeah, here comes our city council, and they're riding on this 1920 Seagraves fire engine. Livermore's first commercially built fire engine, driven by Earth Strollers and with Will Bowden in the captain's seat. It was purchased shortly after the original St. Michael's Church burning and the ground in 1916. And uh, Heritage Hill members reserved the vehicle like new. On the truck is Mayor John McCann. Vice Mayor Bob Horner, Council Member Doug Horner, and Lorraine Turner and Sue Gary. This is a very fine city council in this city. Accompanying the fire engine is another Livermore lady, David Still Small Colony. He used to do this when he was a little kid and he still looks kind of young, but my God, he's been doing it forever. And uh, his family is Livermore. <laughs> His family's Livermore roots go back to 1891. Dave take, took his first step on stilts over 40 years ago. He puts a smile on the face wherever he goes, and he's still doing that. My golly. Yeah, he is a yeah, member he comes, of He comes from a wonderful family. I saw him in that when he was about 10 years old. He's right down the street from me. Now here we have a 1944 Mack fire engine. Livermore's third commercial fire engine was formerly called Engine 22. It's been refurbished and is maintained by volunteers at the Ward Garage in North Elk, where all three of the fire trucks are housed by a Harry Field. Harry Field Jeff Cassie is the driver, they call him an engineer. Bill Junk is in the captain's seat, and Bill's daughter Susan is standing in the rear, and is that a granddaughter, I see? You know, just a few years ago, that truck was just a big pile of junk. It's amazing how they restored it. Now is a Jeep, a 1944 Jeep. Please welcome David Miller and his Jeep. Right, roughly 640,000 of these Jeeps were manufactured by Ford Motor Company and the Willys Overland Company during World War II. What distinguishes this vehicle from other Jeeps of its vintage is that it was used extensively in the 20th Century Fox series, MASH. It also had roles in the movie Patton and the Tora Tora. Today, David would like to make a special salute to the Korean War veterans who live in and around our city. Boy, that Jeep is a movie star. Can you imagine that? Yes, Seven seven on the side. That's the man program. Now, here are members of the Livermore Masons, Mosaic Lodge numbers 218, three accepted Masons of California. This is the oldest lodge in the Tri Valley, established in 1872, 142 years ago. Worship Master for 2014 is Peter M. Harrison. Officers and members of the lodge are accompanying him. The young ladies belong to the International Order of Rainbow for Girls, which is one of the three youth groups sponsored by Mason. Yes. Thanks for coming in our parade, guys. Oh, Jim's way up front. Hi, Jim Morris. <laughs> Now we have another big entry, the Mad Hatter's 
Four inch club. Do you have it? I'm not feeling it. Oh, Matt had a four by four. It's a family oriented organization established in 1879. They affiliate with the California Association of Four Wheel Drive Clubs, headquartered in Sacramento. Boy, look at all those clubs. Uh, the members work closely with the U.S. Forest Service to help maintain trails for everyone to enjoy and support, it, and support legislation to preserve off-road vehicle access rights to state and federal lands. The CALP welcomes all four-wheel drive enthusiasts at any level to join the fun and challenge of four-wheeling. The club meets 7.30 p.m. on the fourth Tuesday of every month at Mountain Lights Pizza on 1st Street. Boy, there's a lot of four-wheel outfits there. A lot of four-wheelers out there. Thanks for being in our parade. Well, that's a new seat. <laughs>
almost said. 47,000 of these tractors were sold for $500 each in 1948. Mary Holtz is the owner and driver. He did a complete restoration of this tractor with his son, Matt, in 1992. And they enjoy showing off their work. Okay, now this next road is KKIQ, this Livermore hometown radio station playing today's hits and yesterday's favorites. Today, the KKIQ band, band is the hometown bull, ready for the rodeo. Mm. Stay in touch with what happens in your community with local traffic, news, and weather. Listen online to KKIQ.com or tune into your radio station 1017 KIQ. Thank you, KIQ, for all your service, too. And here comes the Livermore Fusion Soccer Club, Livermore's number one choice in youth soccer. It's the largest local sports organization serving 2,500 youth soccer players every year since 1976. Wow. One, two, three, fusion! One, two, three, fusion! <laughs> And you all play soccer? Bye -bye. Okay, now welcome the Venture Crew 937 Youth Group, located here in Livermore, sponsored by Peninsula Building Materials Company. Venture Crew 937 is a youth development program of Boy Scouts of America and for young men and scouting for young women aged 14 through 20. Venture Crew's purpose is to provide a positive experience to prepare young people as they become responsible adults. Venture Crew is the way to go, and thank you very much. Anybody climb that big peak behind you there? That looks like a hard climb. <laughs> looks like you guys have fun. Now, please welcome Golda. Two beautiful fancy parade horses. Kayla Cardwell is riding Whitsy, a bay corner horse. And Marie Lambert is riding Buckaroo, a boxing corner horse. And these ladies are official representatives of Calaveras County Community of West Point and the annual Lumberjack Day celebration, which is held the first Saturday in October. Horses and riders are CSHA members and veteran paraders traveling throughout California. Thanks for coming to our parade. You can tell that you love a parade. Okay, now here's Haley Green. Haley Green. On a new bus, Haley is eight years old, riding Gus, a 13-year-old mule. Gus has been her best friend from the first moment they met. They have truly a unique bond that is deeper than most. They have done everything together, including junior rodeo, parades, cabin sorting, napping, and even share snacks. Oh boy, what's a snack? A carrots? <laughs> and that whether they are lounging in the sun or competing somewhere on a nice trail road, they are happiness when they are together. <laughs> hey, Gus, you don't look 13 years old. You look like a kid. 14, see? I knew it. He's 14 years old. <laughs> now, competing for the first time at our parade is five-year-old Kaylin Bordeaux riding with Tony Rusty. Kelly is the granddaughter of Martina Michelle Leal of the Leal Ranch in Martina. <laughs> Welcome, Kelly. You look very nice on that horse. Let's just your Kelly something. was in our parade last year. It's her second program, second parade. 
Okay, now we have the. Let's see, I think it's called it. Yes. The, the Bowman Natural Horsemanship features Livermore's own Bowman. This organization helps riders and horses of all ages improve their relationships. Joining Bo today is Lucky, a three-month-old miniature horse. There, look at the little Lucky out here. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bo being raised by Bo. Uh, read Lucky stores and read Lucky stores in this month's edition of the Independent magazine. The story of that you know, horse, Lucky. As a mascot for Region 5 trail rides, Lucky joined by trail, 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 horses and riders team. Winners of many state trial trail championships. Bowman's natural horsemanship can be found on Facebook. Bo welcomes new students and horses and her organization is located right here in Livermore. Well, welcome to the parade. Okay. You're all from Bowman's group? Yeah. Great. Beautiful horses. Now we have the Bay Area Legacy Riders. They are a non-profit horse club dedicated to the promotion of the history of the part of minority played in the settling of the Old West. They do this through education, horsemanship, and community activities. We need to know more about this. Group. We know a little bit, but we need to know more. We're happy, we're happy to win parades. Thank you. Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts get shovels and brooms. Here we have powerful fence. Calico Pets Incorporated has been servicing the entire Bay Area and Central Valley for 15 years.
discover the secret of the garden. They are coming. Yeah, you know, this summer arts at Barscam, the vacation Bible school, discovered the secrets of the